Welcome to the channel. Got a new toy today to show you. From the same company, All Powers, who sent me the 500 watt uh, power, power battery bank. We have the All Powers S2000. And the 2000 meaning it's 2000 watts. Has four AC outlets. There's four. So, we're going to put this to the test today. Uh, it also has one car port right here. Now, you can charge. Let me get it out. You can charge this on the road. Uh, it would take a long time, probably 10 hours of charging on the road by this, but you need to be driving when you do that. Uh, it also has two USB fast charge, uh, USB C's. That would be these. It has four USB A's. So that's a lot of stuff. And we're going to go ahead and you just to turn it on. You give it one kick there. That is the Bluetooth. It does have an app that goes with it. As you can see right here, to turn on the AC, we hold that in. And you can hear the fan kick up. And as well with DC. Uh, we don't have anything DC right now. Also has the XT60 solar output where you want to plug in your solar panel. I do have a solar panel they sent me with this. It is a, uh, I believe, 200 watt. I may be wrong. I'll look. We're going to show that in the video. And uh, with the solar panel, it will accept up to 500 watts of solar power. So I can connect two, three solar panels and I'll get a faster charge out of it. Uh, to the charge time on the AC outlet is three, I think three to three or four hours. Didn't take long. Uh, it's going to take longer because it's 2,000 watts. But I have tested this. Uh, I've been down with a bad back, so I haven't been able to do the review because I didn't wasn't able to lift hardly anything, let alone this. And it's really not. It's heavier than the smaller one I have, but yes, it's bigger. It does more things. All right. And let me show you what it comes with. Of course, it comes with your instruction manual. Tells you all the specs. Also comes with the warranty. That's right. Comes with your power accessories. You get a real AC plug to plug into the wall. And you get the, the carport charger. And your solar hookups. And that all comes in this case. We'll go ahead and set that aside. It also comes with a, I believe it's a waterproof case that you put the whole thing in. Let me get that in there and show you what that looks like. All right, now you see it in the case and you can leave it in the case. You simply lift up and you can access to everything, you know, that you want to use. Uh, great for, you know, obviously these are going to be very popular, camping, anything you do outdoors. Also has a zipper where you can get to these features. Uh, so that's, that's a nice thing to have for it. And if you just want to store it, best way to store it would be to put it in this case. Keeps it nice and clean. And there you have it. All right. I have my DeWalt battery charger going, plugged in. I have my television going. That's a cool video right there if y'all haven't seen it. I don't know who this guy is. My guess, he, he, look at him. He, I got an office just like that. Oh, that is my channel. Okay. Yeah, you can check that out later. I also have the heater. Now, remember when we tried the heater before? It just didn't have enough power because that one was only a 500 watt. Oh, it's hot out. Let's turn it on. Let's just turn it on the high. High as we can get her. All right, we are pulling 692, 720, 787. It's climbing. It's getting hot. We're at 1100. And climbing. Now it's, it's evened out around 1100. And 70 watts or at 99 percent so we're running the battery charger we're running the 1500 watt heater 
I do have it on high. Let me verify that with my broken glasses. Yes, it is on high. And it is on the highest temperature setting. And as well, running the TV. Now, you could leave these hooked to this and plug this into, plug the uh, charging unit into the wall. And if the power was to happen to go out or I tripped the breaker, it would continue to run these things. So it does have, I believe that's pass-through power. It does have that. Uh, so we're going to give it a real test here in a minute. I'm going to hook up the, uh, the air compressor. Let's do that. And I know this is probably going to be too much, but we'll see. Here is the generator. In she goes. Okay. That was too much. I figured it would be. Hear the alarm? Okay, so we're going to unplug the heater. The heater is what's pulling the juice. Uh, I just wanted to show you the alarm. I wanted to see what it could do. Okay. Let me just turn it back on. Hold the AC in. Let's reset itself. Give it a second. And, gen and uh, the air compressors carry a lot of juice, so let's plug it in. There it is. Sounds perfect, too. We're running the air, uh, the air generator. No problem. 1361. Leveled out at that. That's enough of that racket. And the TV went off because the power. This reset itself. All I had to do was turn it back on. All right, let's uh, let's get the solar panel. Let me show you that. But I'm impressed right there. Uh, this can also run your freezers. I believe up to two, three freezers. So that would be a good scenario. You would set this up, plug your freezer into here, and then plug the unit into the AC power. That way, if the power goes out, your freezer is protected, and you don't lose all your expensive meat. Okay, and this is the all-power solar panel. I'm just gonna, before we open it up, I'll show you what all it comes with. Everybody see it? Of course, it's got the uh, power cord for the panels. It comes with all these cords. Comes with some adapters. About anything you can think of. And I, th I think one of these may be for my other solar panel. I'm not sure. You know, and then it's got this silica candy that comes in there. And it says on there, do not eat. But you know me. I've tasted it. Now, let me tell you, that is the worst gum I've ever eaten in my life. All right, let's set this dude up outside, and then I'll take you out there and show you. <coughs> oh, oh, that silica gum is terrible. Oh. Oh. All right, and that's what the solar panel looks like unfolded. It has a very nice case with snaps that buckles that, you know, keep everything secure. And here's the unit. We're going to go ahead and plug it in here in a minute. Uh, I believe the plug is down here, yes. And we're going to see how it's, what it does. Okay, it might be kind of hard to see. It's pretty dummy proof, and I tell you, they give you several different kinds probably adapters for different kind of scenarios so I've got the two plugged in there and as you can see it's charging uh, turn it on well actually I don't need that on okay 41 watts it's got coming in so it is charging as you can see I know it's bright out here but you know I got to use the Sun and if I want to charge you know I want to set this up to charge all the time I'm gonna have this where it's indoors out of the sun but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so it is now charging by the sun you can also charge with the wall outlet as well when you're doing the solar panels so here again are the solar panels they're not exactly looking at the sun right now but they are pulling in a charge all right let me get this all wrapped back up come close on the video 
all right there we have it and i have been using this for the last couple weeks it's it's been awesome uh also here on top before the video ends i will bring you up close and give you a nice shot of what the, all this looks like i can actually i got it on a little lazy susan here here's where your ac charging port is of course this is the cord you will plug into that and into your wall outlet and it has cooling fans what i like it has a nice flat top that you can put anything on and i happen to have see their smaller unit that just fits nicely right there on top so between the both of them i have a nice battery bank duo of course this isn't going to replace you know Every, it isn't going to run everything in your home, but if the power does go out in a storm, you've got several, several hours of power. If you use it dis discreetly, you know, you don't want to power, like I said, air compressors and things like that. Although you could, I'm sure it's going to run that air compressor by itself. Uh, whatever you need to use, you've got the power to do so. And then you can also, if the power doesn't come back on, but you have sun, you can also charge it with solar power. So great little unit. I will be putting uh, discounts down in the description if you're interested in buying one of these. Uh, very great units. Now I have two of them, two of them from uh, All Powers. This one, let me tell you guys, I use this all the time. Uh, I don't have outlets all over in my house, but I'll plug in my vacuum to this and I can just carry this in one hand. I don't have to worry about unplugging the vacuum. And of course this is heavier. But it would do the same thing but i'm not going to tote this around it's it's quite a bit heavier than this one and uh they're just great let me show you the front of the solar panels it has these nice you know these are also the legs that stand out but it has these nice straps that snap in place and a nice carrying can handle as well and that is a really nice addition and i can hook more than one solar panel up the more i hook up the faster it'll charge so check out the descriptions. Uh, I also found there's so many different other ones, attachments. These are like little jumper cables here. I'm not exactly sure that's what that is for, but yes, that would jump a battery. I am quite sure. I'm not sure on that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check this out. Happy trails.